Hello folks, friends, those new to the channel. What I have for you today is another video in my Corona Apocalypse video series in which I'm making a bunch of videos because there really isn't much else for me to do around my apartment while I'm in self-isolation during the pandemic, pandemic of the century. So this is another video in my Gear Closet session series in which I discuss yeah, more more philosophical ideas about hiking and backpacking rather than focus on a gear review. And today's topic might be a little controversial for some of you. It's going to be about why I think ultralight backpacking is a cult-like conspiracy theory. Yeah, I'm going there. Hold on to your hats, folks. All right? So I'm just going to dive right into it here about why I think ultralight backpacking is a conspiracy theory, okay? And and the reason I do is because I think like a bunch of YouTubers and bloggers have have gotten cahoots together with with the manufacturers of the ultralight gear, you know, your your smart water people and your your DCF shelter maker people and all that. They've all got together to conspire to get people to buy gear that they don't really need at all. And they're just going to get rid of on the secondhand market. All right? And, and the people that fall victim to this, you know, they, they come from a variety of back, backgrounds in the backpacking and hiking world. You're young and you're old. You're noobs and you're experienced. You're, you're through hikers and, and you're just, you're, just your weekend hikers. The victims come from all... All, all places and they all have one thing in common they have too much money to spend or too high of limits on their credit cards okay and it rubs them into the conspiracy theory okay? and so so you know the, the everybody's making their reviews about their shelters and, and backpacks and, and gear and, and whatever they're making their reviews and, and putting out these products and uh, it, it just gets everyone in to, to buy a bunch of stuff because we all know that it's not about the weight of the gear you have, the usefulness of the gear you have. It is about how much gear you have. That's the whole point, just to get you to buy more stuff. All right? And that's, that's, that's where all the hype, hype mon hypesters and everything, they're, they're, they're coming in and, and promoting all this stuff because because they're getting kickbacks from the manufacturers, man. The whole the whole Illuminati backpack, ultralight backpack Illuminati is working together to get you to buy all these shelters that you don't you don't need. So that's my conspiracy theory. All the all the bloggers and YouTubers and promoters are just just in it with the with the with the manufacturing people, you know. So they can all make money. Follow, follow the money. Follow the money, people. That's what it's about. And the other part of this cons of this whole this whole conspiracy is is just the cult, the cult like nature of ultralight backpacking. If you're watching this video, you've you've gotten you've waded into this culture, and and if you don't completely adhere to the philosophy of ultralight backpacking, you will get downvoted. You will get shamed. You'll get criticized. You will just get run out of town. Okay? You'll just get run out of town. Because, because you like things besides, besides smart water bottles. You know? You maybe want to use a different kind of water bottle. Or, or you want to use a steak sack. Or a fabric that isn't Dyneema composite fiber. You want to use things like ground cloths. Or you use a Thermarest Z seat instead of one that weighs... Uh, half an ounce less, you know, or you use uh, tent stakes that are like Y-shaped instead of just like a shepherd hook or nail. You know, you want to use things that, that actually don't bend when you put them into the ground for the third time. Or, or you like things like bug netting because you don't like getting bit and crawled over. You don't fit in to the cult, all right? You're, you're not allowed to be, to be a part of it. If you enjoy things like comfort, and, and staying dry and free from spider and bug bites at night. And, and while we're on the topic of gear, there, there's, 
the, the other cult like faction is is how the gear there's only like there's only like a small subset of gear that 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 qualifies as ultra light from certain manufacturers. So if you want to come in here and you want to use use something like this this Hilberg bug netting, besides being light and robust and great quality, that isn't a cottage manufacturer, man. That is, that isn't gonna work, you know. Uh, and you can't go mainstream. I mean, Thermarest, come on. No, you know, okay, well, there is the X-Lite, Neo Air, all that. But, but you know, it's too mainstream, man. That's not going to fit into the, into the whole, the whole cult. So, so yeah, maybe, maybe you have a pack that is, is ultralight and it's great. But it's just, it's just not one of the gear companies that, uh, that can resell for 90% of the retail value. So, just take yourself somewhere else where uh, you know where your alternative ultralight gear views might be accepted besides besides the ultralight world and that's that's how the cult functions you know you have to adhere to the to the rules and the principles and the philosophy and fully buy into it uh, and, and all the all the uh, accessories and all the types of gear you have to fully buy into it or else you know what man just get just get out just get out okay and that's, that's how the cult functions. And I know, because I have, I'm not really gonna give you my cult experiences outside of ultralight backpacking, but let's, let's just say, I'm still recovering. And, and maybe I'm making this video rant because, because maybe, maybe I'm a little bitter that, that I tried to go ultralight and, and I couldn't cut the mustard. I just, I just couldn't, couldn't go all the way there. And maybe that's why I'm making this video, but, but you know, I also, I also like to maintain my, my independent thought, all right? I'm, I'm a real fan of being able to think independently. So that's why I just, I don't have time for this cult-like conspiracy theory known as ultralight backpacking. Yeah, so, so that's my video, man. That's, that's. That's the conspiracy theory, and, and that is, uh, you know, that's that's how it functions. It's a cult, and it all just it all just ropes you in, and before you know it, you got got no money, and you're making videos on YouTube to try to to try to get some sort of followers, so you can just get different more just more income varieties because you just you spend it all, uh, and uh, if you guys if you guys know any good therapists. Uh, I think I think like consumer consumer therapists. I think that would really that really help me at this time. Uh, if you guys you can point me in the right direction of like a consumer spending therapy, because because uh, I'm a little short on short on cash right now. I already spent my stimulus check on a, a a new shelter and and a custom backpack with all the accessories and features. Uh, so, th thanks for watching, subscribe, like, subscribe, well, yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys later. I, re I really just hope you know I'm joking, okay folks, so please, it's on me.